Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today I got a very, very easy but fun photo effect for you, which I call the typography effect. Now, in this case, we're gonna use a chili pepper, but I've also tried applying the same effect on a banana. And as you can see, it also works. Now, important for this effect to work, let me delete all of the layers that we don't need. You want to have your subject, let's say in this case, a chili pepper, extracted from the background so you want to have it isolated now let's start by uh, making our text so i'm going to press t on the keyboard to select our text tool and you want to make sure that you actually have the artistic text tool selected now let's click and drag across our screen and let's type in chili pepper and as you can see on the top left i'm using the font uh, impact because it is nice and bold, let's say. By the way, this video was brought to you by the Ultimate Brush Bundle. 100 plus realistic brushes that make photo manipulation fun for everyone. Add northern lights, clouds, stars, fireworks, smokes, lightning, and so much more to your photos in just a click. Now 66% off, link in the description. Let's press V to select the move tool and let's drag it down a little bit. And now we want to add a mesh warp live filter so we can change the shape of our text. So I'm gonna go to my live filters, let's go down and let's click on mesh warp now with mesh warp we're going to use the handles to drag and shape our chili pepper text onto the chili pepper and we're going to start off by doing it with the corners so let's drag our corners inside of our chili pepper or actually just outside of our chili pepper and we want to drag these handles as well and this might be a little tricky in the beginning but you'll get used to it now once you click on a corner you can see that handles appear and you can also drag these corner handles to make it easier to shape it to your subject let's say also these ones are a little bit important so we got the nice round shape of the chili and maybe we can move this one a little bit also if you've got a different subject or different shape if you want to add anchor points just double click anywhere in the mesh warp let's say so if we double click here in the middle you can see that we add an extra anchor point where from where we can change the shape of our text let's say all right now what we want to do is turn this thing into a selection and this is very easy simply hold command and make sure to click on the thumbnail of the text layer and now we can actually hide it so let's select our chili layer and now we want to turn this selection into a mask so let's hit our mask icon and let's press command d to deselect whatever we've got selected now there's only one step left of this process and that is to uh, get back the ends let's say of the chili pepper and we're going to do that by using our brush tool so let's press b on the keyboard and make sure your foreground color is set to white and now you want to paint over the extra portions that we've just masked out let's say to um, get them back so let's do that right here as well and that is how easy it is to create this awesome typography effect now i hope you liked this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe to the channel if you want to see many more affinity photo tutorials all right see you in the next one cheers